Hey everybody, we're back working on Miles. We're playing with a few things for the air box. My um, special, uh, my uh, PVC special here is, it's it's four inch on the outside, but it is three inch uh, on, the, on the inside diameter here. So there's quite a bit of difference between it and this beautiful flow. So I was talking with Chris about, you know, I, I built this a few years ago, just being cheap and so forth. But um, we're, it's really going to make it easier on the on the new engine, new setup, if we go with this four inch uh, inside diameter and uh, get that working. So thanks to Chris for bringing that over and um, adding a little um, incentive to to fix uh, that intake. I mean, it's not going to cost a lot. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Uh, easiest way is to just buy the air raid tube and it, it'll attach straight to your air box. So I haven't decided, you know, what all I wanted to do uh, with the air box. So I thought, well, I've got two extra air boxes. I've got this set up from um, Chris and I have some time. So let's see what we can figure out. So this is something that we've done before. I'm gonna get a light. This is the original lower uh, box. And uh, in the PVC days, as you can see, we have this setup where it's, it's PVC from the bottom here. Uh, I went ahead and pulled out um, this little uh, intake there. Uh, I am gonna put that back in. Um, I'm gonna keep it flush here and put the other mount in there so it's, it's flush with the uh, sidewall. Uh, but it, it does make you got a couple different areas where um, the air is coming in. So, uh, but this is a cold air, um, cheap setup, and it exits right there. So we're going to go ahead and, and reutilize that. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but we're going to give it a try and uh, just you know, see what it does. Cold air is cold air, so we will see the most benefits from that. Uh, you know, obviously on the interstate. So. Let's walk back here and talk about what we're doing with this. I got to make a couple adjustments here, uh, but we got two air box lids. And the humidity has just really popped up in here in Florida. So um, let me pause here, take this back apart, and show you what we got. All right, so uh, Chris had a nice spectry uh, filter, specter, spectry, whatever you want to call it. Uh, filter to go along with that intake tube so we're utilizing that so here's a original style air box that's off the uh, truck and here's what I've done to it now I ended up cutting a little bit too much here but my theory was um, that the depth of this would fit so into the air box that theoretically if we cut this open farther we could still get our tube connection uh, from the, uh, the the aluminum tube, and it would go right in here. So this is everything else fit pretty good, except for uh, I just cut this out a little too wide. But you know, I'm kind of uh, learning as I go here, so it'll fit like so up through here. Just kind of squeeze through, turn the clamp around so it's easily accessible, and then so it'll it'll fit about so. And like right in there, see the, the fitment here. I've got to sand up everything, but uh, the fitment's going to be pretty good. I got to trim a little bit more off here so that the uh, the math's not rubbing. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we might be able to use some of this extra foam to. Uh, I'm just want to keep the air cool. We've got all, especially for uh, like road trips, etc. That's what we're kind of looking at here. Uh, you know, if you get stuck in Atlanta, you get stuck in Kentucky, you get hey, if you even get stuck in. Orlando traffic just making sure everything is as cool you got cool air charge and so forth so uh, just playing with that to try to get it to work so I'm going to do some final not final but some finishing touches and uh, we'll get back with you and show you what it looks like kind of start into this before um, we could have had some nice uh, ah, cut off saw cut off wheel uh, video, but I kind of just thought about it like, well, oh, I need to make a video. So, here we go. My bad. Alrighty, so we've got it where I like it. Got it clamped down and everything. 
and it looks pretty stock. I mean, you really don't know, um, you know, how much it's been modified unless you look close. I used some extra foam there in the corner right here just to help with heat sink. I don't know if it'll do much good, but it's worth a try. But uh, I like the way it looks. So we got a little bit of a gap there from where I cut too much out of it. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna work out good. I just wanted to see how it fit. And it seems the throttle response seems a bunch better already. So I'm gonna go grab some FedEx and I'll be right back. All right, so uh, yeah, there's the chicken FedEx guy there. But yeah, I kind of like the way it turned out. And I'm gonna put the old one back on right now because uh, Chris has it tuned for the older style setup with as <laughs> constrictive as it is. Uh, that's what it's set up for. So, uh, you know, a little bit of driving we do with it. Don't want to be starving, starving it for fuel. Of course, if it's pulling that much air, it might be giving it more fuel. I don't know. But either way, we, we figured out <clears throat> what it is. I'm going to be able to put um, <clears throat> that other lid on there. It's got a little bit different bolt pattern, but it'll be fine for a little bit. I plan to drive it until um, he's ready. But I think um, from what I heard and from the, uh, the sound of the motor, it seemed to breathe a lot easier. Um, obviously, we've got to get the tune optimized for that. But just the basic startup, um, it seemed a lot smoother. And looking, comparing our diameters, I think we picked up about an inch of airflow and it's much free flowing so considering the ram air considering the cone filter um, which it may be a little bit more uh, flow than this not totally sure on that um, but uh, we'll see it's worth experimenting with it looks stock um, I think it'll serve serve well. I mean, there's lots of good products out there you can spend the money on. <clears throat> I'm just cheap, <clears throat> and I had a little bit a uh, little bit of time, and I thought, well, let me let me try playing this game myself. So uh, I like the way it turned out so far. Let's see how it runs, but uh, yeah, see how it goes. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated.